respects to elders past, present and emerging. Uh, today we're joined by the Victorian Treasurer, uh, Tim Pallas, who's uh, going to make the special announcement today. But uh, this has been a long journey over an, a, a number of months and really the, the whole sporting precinct through here has been a journey for a number of years. Finally though, finally Council has put a strategic program together and a plan together to really support this precinct into the future. And you know, there's a lot of people to acknowledge as well. Obviously, uh, the chair of the working group has been Graham Fountain and I've worked closely with him with the EFL CFA. Uh, Peter O'Connor, Ox as we know him from the footy club. Uh, every single time I come down to a game here, he grabs me and talks about the, the future needs, the growth of the clubs and the real opportunities in this precinct. Uh, Declan Lamb, who's uh, obviously, the, uh, I think I, I haven't seen him here, but uh, the junior uh, president. And then all the, all the uh, AFL participation, particularly the women in sport focus as well, also down at Glen Street. Uh, Helen Hollis, who does a great job with the netball. I saw Dean a a uh, Andrew before from um, uh, the, the Arrows. Obviously, once we finally get these netball courts, um, this will be a really, really big milestone for our community. And I think Justin Dean from the Cricket Club I saw before as well. Um, and so thank you everyone for coming down uh, to, this, uh, to this important announcement. Uh, obviously, with pavilions, there's a lot of charm and a lot of history that comes together. The generations that have come through here, you only have to come to some of those, uh, some of those events to hear about the history, to hear about the families that have come through Edafel Aspendale Sporting Clubs. Uh, it is truly uh, a, a heart and soul of Edafel and Aspendale and those surrounding communities. It's uh, a big part of our community and we want to support it and set it up into the future. So today, uh, I'm introducing the Treasurer Tim Pallas to make a very special announcement for this wonderful uh, uh, precinct here at Regis Park. Thanks very much, Tim. And uh, <laughs> uh, look, first of all, can I apologise to you? Uh, I mistimed my run from Werribee to Mordialic, and it's a long way, I can tell you, <laughs> this time of day. Uh, so I apologise for any delays that I've uh, inflicted on you. Secondly, um, uh, yes, this is an announcement uh, about a commitment from a, a re-elected Andrews Labor government, but it wouldn't happen without the efforts of uh, Tim Richardson, who's uh, an outstanding local member. And uh, clearly, Pete, you, if you've been lobbying uh, Tim, uh, can I assure you that every time he's lobbied you, he's come and he's lobbied me. Uh, so I'm pleased to announce that if re-elected, uh, an Andrews Labor government will contribute $3.5 million to the upgrade of Regent's Park. Now, uh, of course, that'll mean uh, apparently there's a 60-year-old stand here somewhere. Is that right? Is that 60 years old? Oh, well, it's... it's some good right? <laughs> <laughs> obviously, you've been getting a bit of uh, assistance in keeping it up to speed, but um, it obviously needs work. Um, additionally, of course, tennis courts. Uh, they'll be resurfaced. Uh, new tennis courts, better lighting, Great, better facilities and change rooms, particularly for uh, women in sport, uh, will be a key part of this. So essentially the, the story is to recognise that this is a community sporting facility, uh, what with cricket, netball, um, uh, um, what else have we got here, Pete? I suppose uh, the sporting club itself. So uh, every sport's involved and really this is about making sure that People get out and enjoy the great outdoors and understand that sport really is the great enabler of uh, community cohesion. So, uh, thank you very much and thanks very much for bringing the people around. We'll have a train in the city with them in the short. In a distance, and you'll realise why I went into politics. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, I had, and I had to mention also Grant Plaza, who's done a amount of work on this precinct as well from the tennis club. Um, you know, there, there's been a, it's been a big team effort. So, 3.5 mil everyone, that means as well that's certainty for the future for NES.